Gordon James Ramsay Jr. born the 8th of November 1966 is a British chef, restaurateur and television personality. Born in Scotland, Ramsay grew up in Stratford-upon-Avon. His restaurants have been awarded 16 Michelin stars in total and currently hold a total of 7. His signature restaurant, Restaurant Gordon Ramsay in Chelsea, London, has held 3 Michelin stars since 2001. First appearing on television in the UK in the late 1990s, by 2004 Ramsay had become one of the best-known chefs in British popular culture, and, along with other chefs such as Jamie Oliver, Nigella Lawson, and Delia Smith, he has influenced viewers to become more culinarily adventurous. As a reality television personality, Ramsay is known for his fiery temper, strict demeanor, and use of expletives. He often makes blunt and controversial comments, including insults and wisecracks about contestants and their cooking abilities. He combines activities in the television, film, hospitality, and food industries and has promoted and hired various chefs who have apprenticed under his wing. Ramsay is known for presenting TV programs about competitive cookery and food, such as the British series Hell's Kitchen, The F Word, and Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares, the American series MasterChef, MasterChef Junior, and Hotel Hell, and the American versions of Hell's Kitchen and Kitchen Nightmares. In 2015, Forbes listed his earnings at $60 million for the previous 12 months, and ranked him the 21st highest earning celebrity in the world. Early life Ramsay was born on 8 November 1966 in Johnston, Renfrewshire. From the age of five, he was raised in Stratford-upon-Avon. Ramsay is the second of four children. He has an older sister, Diane, a younger brother, Ronnie, who Ramsay revealed had been imprisoned for heroin possession as a juvenile, and a younger sister, Yvonne. Ramsay's father, Gordon James Sr., was at various times a swimming pool manager, a welder, and a shopkeeper. His sister Yvonne and their mother, Helen, nay Cosgrove, have been nurses. Ramsay has described his early life as hopelessly itinerant, and his family moved constantly due to the aspirations and failures of his father, who was a sometimes violent alcoholic. In 1976, they finally settled in Stratford upon Avon, where he grew up in the Bishopton area of the town. In his autobiography, Humble Pie, he describes his early life as being marked by abuse and neglect from this hard-drinking womanizer. At the age of 16, Ramsay moved out of the family home and into a flat in Banbury. <laughs> <laughs> Football career Ramsay played football and was first chosen to play under 14 football at age 12. He was chosen to play for Warwickshire. His footballing career was marked by injuries, causing him to remark later in life, Perhaps I was doomed when it came to football. In mid-1984, Ramsey had a trial with Rangers, the club he supported as a boy. He seriously injured his knee, smashing the cartilage during training. Ramsey continued to train and play on the injured knee, tearing a cruciate ligament during a squash game. Ramsey has claimed to have played two first-team games for Rangers. According to his autobiography Ramsey played a couple of non-league matches as a trialist for Rangers and was signed by the club at the age of 15. Alan Cairns, the photographer who took a picture of Ramsey playing for Rangers in September 1985, said the photo was not one of Rangers' first team but a side pick to play a testimonial match. A Rangers spokesman said, Ramsey was a trialist in that testimonial game. He trained with us for a few months after that but then got injured. Rangers revisited In Series 4, Episode 12 of The F Word originally aired on 29 July 2008, Ramsey visited Ibrox, the home ground of his favorite childhood team, Rangers, and exclaimed, Home, sweet home. He explained, My dream came true when I was spotted in the mid-80s and I joined the youth team here in Ibrox. He related that one of his fondest memories is playing alongside one of Scotland's football legends, Ally McCoist, who said about Ramsey, I remember him well and the one thing that never ever will change is that he's a competitive so-and-so and, -so and wants to do and be the best that he can. Ramsey recalled that, the pain of being released on the back of an injury, was only assuaged many years later, after receiving his third Michelin star. 
and concluded that, without the upset at Ibrix, I would not be the chef I am today. <laughs> Early cooking career By this time, Ramsey's interest in cooking had already begun, and rather than be known as the football player with the gammy knee, at age 19, Ramsey paid more serious attention to his culinary education. Ramsey enrolled at North Oxfordshire Technical College, sponsored by the Ritarians, to study hotel management. He describes his decision to enter catering college as an accident, a complete accident. In the mid-1980s, he worked as a commas chef at the Roxton House Hotel then ran the kitchen and 60-seat dining room at the Wickham Arms, until his sexual relationship with the owner's wife made the situation difficult. Ramsey then moved to London, where he worked in a series of restaurants until being inspired to work for the temperamental Marco Pierre White at Harvey's. After working at Harvey's for two years and ten months, Ramsey, tired of the rages and the bullying and violence, decided that the way to further advance his career was to study French cuisine. White discouraged Ramsey from taking a job in Paris, instead encouraging him to work for Albert Roux at Le Gavroche in Mayfair, where he met Jean-Claude Breton, now his maitre de hotel at Royal Hospital Road. After working at Le Gavroche for a year, Albert Roux invited Ramsey to work with him at Hotel Diva, a ski resort in the French Alps, as his number two. From there, a 23-year-old Ramsey moved to Paris to work with Guy Savoy and Joel Robichon, both Michelin-starred chefs. In Master Chef Series 3 Episode 18, Gordon Ramsay stated that Guy Savoy was his mentor. He continued his training in France for three years, before giving in to the physical and mental stress of the kitchens and taking a year to work as a personal chef on the private yacht Idlewild, based in Bermuda. The role on the boat saw him travel to Sicily and Sardinia, Italy, and learn about Italian cuisine. <laughs> Head chef. Upon his return to London in 1993, Ramsay was offered the position of head chef, under chef patron Pierre Kaufman, at the three Michelin-starred La Tante Claire in Chelsea. Shortly thereafter, Marco Pierre White re-entered his life, offering to set him up with a head chef position and 10% share in the Rossmore, owned by White's business partners. The restaurant was renamed Aubergine and went on to win its first Michelin star 14 months later. In 1997, Aubergine won its second Michelin star. Despite the restaurant's success, a dispute with Ramsey's business owners, who wanted to turn Aubergine into a chain, and Ramsey's dream of running his own restaurant led to his leaving the partnership in July 1998. He has described the decision to set out on his own as, "...the most important day of my entire cooking career, the most important decision of my life." In 1998, Ramsey opened his own restaurant in Chelsea, Restaurant Gordon Ramsay, with the help of his father-in-law, Chris Hutchison, and his former colleagues at Aubergine. The restaurant gained its third Michelin star in 2001, making Ramsay the first Scot to achieve that feat. After establishing his first restaurant, Ramsay's empire expanded rapidly. He next opened Petrus, then Amaryllis in Glasgow, which he was later forced to close, and later Gordon Ramsay at Claridge's. He hired his friend and maitre de hotel Jean-Philippe Susilovic, who works at Petrus and also appears on Ramsey's US TV show Hell's Kitchen. Restaurants at the Dubai Creek and Connaught Hotels followed, the latter branded with his protégé Angela Hartnett's name. Ramsey has opened restaurants outside the UK, beginning with Ver in Dubai. Two restaurants, Gordon Ramsay at Conrad Tokyo and Cerise by Gordon Ramsay, both opened in Tokyo in 2005. In November 2006, Gordon Ramsay at the London opened in New York City, winning top newcomer in the city's coveted Zagat Guide. Despite mixed reviews from professional critics, in 2007, Ramsay opened his first restaurant in Ireland, Gordon Ramsay at Powers Court, at the Ritz Carlton Hotel in Powers Court, County Wicklow. This restaurant closed in 2013. In May 2008, he opened his first restaurant in the western U.S., in the London West Hollywood Hotel formerly the Bell Age Hotel on the Sunset Strip in Los Angeles. The contract expired in 2015, closing the restaurant. On 9 August 2011, Ramsay opened his first Canadian restaurant, Laurier Gordon Ramsay at the former Rotisserie Laurier Barbecue in Montreal. In February 2012, Danny Lavie, the owner of the restaurant, announced the restaurant was disassociating itself from Ramsey, citing a lack of involvement and understanding on Ramsey's part. The restaurant closed in 2013. <laughs> 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 
Topic: <laughs> Awards. Opened in September 1998, Restaurant Gordon Ramsay was Ramsay's first solo restaurant, located at Royal Hospital Road, London. In 2001, it was voted top restaurant in the UK in the London Zagat survey and was awarded its third Michelin star. He was appointed Officer of the Order of the British Empire by Queen Elizabeth II in the 2006 Honours List for Services to the Hospitality Industry, but almost missed the award when his plane was delayed. In July 2006, Ramsay won the Katie Award for Independent Restaurateur of the Year, becoming only the third person to have won three Katie Awards. Ramsey's two previous Katie Awards were in 1995 Newcomer of the Year and 2000 Chef of the Year. The other two triple winners are Michelle Rue and Jackie Pern. In September 2006, he was named as the most influential person in the UK hospitality industry in the annual Research 100 list, published by Caterer and Hotelkeeper magazine. He overtook Jamie Oliver, who had been top of the list in 2005. Also in 2006, Ramsey was nominated as a candidate for rector of the University of St Andrews, but lost at the polls to Simon Pepper. Ramsey's flagship restaurant, Restaurant Gordon Ramsay, was voted London's top restaurant in Hardens for eight years, but in 2008 was placed below Petrus, a restaurant run by former protege Marcus Waring. In January 2013, Ramsey was inducted into the Culinary Hall of Fame. Topic. Gordon Ramsay Holdings All of Ramsay's business interests restaurants, media, consultancy, are held in the company Gordon Ramsay Holdings Limited, which was run in partnership with his father-in-law, Chris Hutchison. Ramsay owns a 69% stake, valued at £67 million in 2007, whereas previous ventures acted as a combined consultant brand. In November 2006, Ramsay announced plans to create three restaurants in the United States. These opened in 2006 2007 at Gordon Ramsay at the London Hotel in Manhattan, New York, October 2006, Gordon Ramsay at the Cielo in Boca Raton, Florida. Gordon Ramsay at the London Hotel in West Hollywood, California Gordon Ramsay at the Morrible in London In late 2006 Gordon Ramsay Holdings purchased three London pubs which he converted into gastropubs. These are, The Narrow in Limehouse, which opened in March 2007, The Devonshire in Chiswick, which opened in October 2007 and The Warrington in Maida Vale, which opened in February 2008. Both the Devonshire and the Warrington were subsequently sold in 2011. The Warrington to pub company Fawcett Inn. Ramsey acts as a consultant to numerous catering organizations, and was recruited by Singapore Airlines as one of its international culinary panel consultants. In May 2008, it was confirmed that Ramsey's protege of 15 years, Marcus Waring, was going solo, having opened and operated Petrus at the Berkeley Hotel on behalf of Gordon Ramsay Holdings since 2003. With the name Petrus owned by Gordon Ramsay Holdings, industry sources suggested it was likely to transfer to another restaurant in the group with the former La Noisette site identified as the most likely. In April 2010, Jason Atherton, executive chef of May's Restaurants Worldwide, resigned to open his own venue in Mayfair. On 19 October 2010, the company Gordon Ramsay Holdings Limited announced that Chris Hutchison had left his position as CEO of Gordon Ramsay Holdings Limited. Shortly after, Ramsey released a letter to the press describing how he had unraveled the manipulative Hutchison's complex life after having him followed by a private detective. His father-in-law's away days, wrote Ramsey, were rarely what I thought they were. Company accounts show Hutchison borrowed up to £1.5 million from Gordon Ramsay Holdings, of which he was chief executive, though he says he reported the borrowings to the company and paid the money back. Hutchison said he had been vaporized and subjected to a public hanging by Ramsey, whom he described as a friendless egotist. In April 2017 Hutchison pleaded guilty to a charge of conspiracy to hack into the computers of Gordon Ramsay Holdings Limited. In October 2012, Ramsey opened the Fat Cow in Los Angeles, U.S. at the Grove, a shopping area that is also popular with tourists. Ramsey explained his intention for the Fat Cow in a press release to signify the opening of the venue. The concept for the Fat Cow came from my desire to have a neighborhood restaurant that you could go to all the time to just relax and enjoy a terrific meal. 
In partnership with footballer David Beckham, Ramsey opened the Union Street Café in the Southwark District of London, UK in September 2013. The Italian cuisine of the Union Street Café, with a menu that is revolved on a daily basis, is overseen by Chef Davide Di Giovanni. In October 2013, the Gordon Ramsay at the London restaurant in New York lost its two Michelin stars due to issues encountered by the Michelin reviewers. The guide's director Michael Ellis stated that he was served some very erratic meals and also experienced issues with consistency. The loss follows the closure of another of Ramsey's restaurants in June 2013. In January 2014, Ramsey lost a high court case in relation to the York and Albany pub. Ramsey claimed that his father in law had misused a ghost writing machine to make a personal guarantor for the £640,000 a year annual rent of that pub. Ramsey tried to nullify the 25 year lease, signed in 2007. The judge said that Ramsey had known from the guarantee beforehand but that he had total trust in his father-in-law, Christopher Hutchison, and left the deal with him. The judge dismissed the case and ordered Ramsey to pay all legal costs and outstanding monies, in total more than £1 million. Topic television Ramsey's first documented role in television was in two fly on the kitchen wall documentaries, Boiling Point 1998 and Beyond Boiling Point 2000, but had appeared previously as a judge on a MasterChef-like series for young catering students in 1997, with his then restaurant partner. Ramsey appeared on series 3 of Faking It in 2001 helping the prospective chef, a burger flipper named Ed Devlin, learn the trade. This episode won the 2001 BAFTA for Best Factual TV Moment. In 2004, Ramsey appeared in two British television series. Ramsey's Kitchen Nightmares aired on Channel 4, and saw the chef troubleshooting failing restaurants over a one week period. This series ran its fifth series in 2007. Hell's Kitchen was a reality show, which aired on ITV1, and saw Ramsay attempt to train ten British celebrities to be chefs, as they ran a restaurant on Brick Lane which opened to the public for the two-week duration of the show. In May 2005, the Fox Network introduced Ramsay to American audiences in a U.S. version of Hell's Kitchen produced by Granada Entertainment and A. Smith & Co. The show follows a similar premise as the original British series, showcasing Ramsay's perfectionism and infamously short temper. The show completed its 13th season in December 2014, and Fox ordered the production of three additional seasons. In addition, Ramsey had also hosted a U.S. version of Kitchen Nightmares which premiered on Fox on 19 September 2007. The show has now run six full seasons, with a seventh season being shown during 2014. Ramsey has presented five series of a food-based magazine program titled The F Word. It launched on Channel 4 on 27 October 2005. The show is organized around several key, recurring features, notably a brigade competition, a guest cook competition, a food-related investigative report and a series-long project of raising animals to be served in the finale. The guest cook usually a celebrity, prepares a dish of their own choosing and places it in competition against a similar dish submitted by Ramsay. The dishes are judged by diners who are unaware of who cooked which dish and, if the guest wins, as they have on numerous occasions, their dish is served at Ramsay's restaurant. In July 2006, Channel 4 announced that it had resigned Ramsey to an exclusive four-year deal at the network, running until July 2011. The series became one of the highest-rated shows aired on Channel 4 each week. During one episode of The F Word, Ramsey cooked in Doncaster Prison in Marshgate for its inmates. The chef was so impressed by the speed at which a prisoner, Kieran Tarf, chopped vegetables that he offered him a job at his restaurant following his release in 2007. In 2010, Ramsey served as a producer and judge on the U.S. version of MasterChef. A second season of the show began in June 2011, again starring Ramsey. On that same show, he was joined by culinary judges Graham Elliott and Joe Boskinich. He starred in a travelogue about his visit to India, Gordon's Great Escape, followed by a series set in Asia. He hosted the series Ramsay's Best Restaurant, which was the first UK series by Ramsay's own production company, One Potato Two Potato. Ramsay joined several other celebrity chefs in the 2010 series, The Big Fish Fight, where he, along with fellow chef Jamie Oliver and a few others, spent time on a trawler boat to raise awareness about the discarding of hundreds of thousands of saltwater fish. 
In March 2012, Fox announced the coming of Ramsey's fourth series for the Fox network, Hotel Hell. The series is similar to Kitchen Nightmares, except that it focuses on struggling hotels, motels and other lodging establishments in the United States. Originally slated for debut the 6th of April 2012 and the 4th of June 2012, the series debuted the 13th of August 2012. In 2012, it was reported that Ramsey was to be the producer of a drama called The Inferno, set in a New York restaurant. Topic: <laughs> Guest appearances. In September 2005, Ramsey, along with Jamie Oliver, Heston Blumenthal, Wolfgang Puck and Sanjeev Kapoor, were featured in CNN International's Quest, in which Richard Quest stepped into the shoes of celebrity chefs. In 2006, Ramsey took part in a television series for ITV, following the lead-up to Soccer Aid, a celebrity charity football match, in which he played only the first half, nursing an injury picked up in training. Ramsey captained the rest of the World Eleven against an England Eleven captained by Robbie Williams. His involvement was limited after he received a four-inch cut in his calf. During his second Top Gear appearance, he stated that his current cars are a Ferrari F430 and a Range Rover Sport Supercharged, the latter replacing the Bentley Continental GT he previously owned. On 14 May 2006, he appeared on Top Gear in the Star in a Reasonably Priced Car segment. Ramsey held the top spot on Top Gear's Celebrity Leader Board, with a lap time of 1.46.38 until overtaken by Simon Cowell. Ramsey starred in part of a national blood service, Give Blood, television advertisement, in which he said that he would have died from a ruptured spleen had it not have been for another person's blood donation. On 13 October 2006, he was guest host on the first episode of Have I Got News for You's 32nd series. On 27 December 2007, Ramsey appeared in the Extras Christmas special. In January 2008, Ramsey also guest featured on Channel Fa's Big Brother, Celebrity Hijack as the Big Brother housemates took part in his cook-along live television show. Gordon spoke directly to the Big Brother house via the house plasma screens, regularly checking on the progress of the contestants. In 2011, during the results show of American Idol, footage of the top five contestants taking on a challenge of cooking with Gordon Ramsay was shown. The top five were given ten minutes to make the best omelets. In November 2011, Ramsay made an appearance on The Simpsons episode, The Food Wife. In February 2017, Ramsay made a guest appearance on New Girl episode, Operation, Bobcat. Ramsey made an appearance on the 11th of December 2017 broadcast of Please Take Care of My Refrigerator, a South Korean reality television show on JTBC. In February 2018, Ramsey starred in an episode of the House series, My House, in which he surprised chef Christina Wilson with a kitchen, living room and dining room renovation. Ramsey voices the character Bolton Gramercy in Big Hero 6, the series. The character is based on him in many aspects, specifically the fact that he is a chef with a fiery temper. Topic: Legal proceedings. In June 2006, Ramsey won a high court case against the London Evening Standard newspaper, in which Victor Lewis Smith had alleged, after reports from previous owner Sue Ray, that scenes and the general condition of Bonaparte's had been faked for Ramsey's kitchen nightmares. Ramsey was awarded £75,000 plus costs. Ramsey said at the time, I won't let people write anything they want to about me. We have never done anything in a cynical fake way. In June 2007, Ramsey's show was sued by the terminated general manager Martin Hyde of the New York restaurant Pornima Dillon's, who also alleged fakery. Hyde had quit his position at the restaurant during the show, when Ramsey suggested that the owner hire top Indian chef Vikas Khanna as the consultant chef for Pornima. The lawsuit alleged that Unknown to the viewing audience, some or all of Kitchen Nightmares are fake and the so-called problems uncovered and solved by Ramsey are, for the most part, created by Ramsey and his staff for the purpose of making it appear that Ramsey is improving the restaurant. 
In August 2007, the case was dismissed voluntarily and ordered into arbitration as stipulated in their contract. On the 21st of March 2012, Ramsey filed a $2.7 million lawsuit against his former partners of his restaurant in Montreal, Quebec, the Laurier Gordon Ramsey, since renamed the Laurier 1936, over lost licensing fees and defamatory statements made against him. On 16 April 2013, just over a year later, Laurier 1936 closed. <laughs> Public image and reception <laughs> Personality Ramsey's reputation is built upon his goal of culinary perfection, which, as with many chefs such as Claire Smith, who worked at restaurant Gordon Ramsay, is associated with winning three Michelin stars. His mentor, Marco Pierre White noted that he is highly competitive. Since the airing of Boiling Point, which followed Ramsay's quest of earning three Michelin stars, the chef has also become infamous for his fiery temper and use of expletives. Ramsey once famously ejected food critic A. A. Gill, along with his dining companion, Joan Collins, from his restaurant, leading Gill to state that, Ramsey is a wonderful chef, just a really second-rate human being. Ramsey admitted in his autobiography that he did not mind if Gill insulted his food, but a personal insult he was not going to stand for. Ramsey has also had confrontations with his kitchen staff, including one incident that resulted in the pastry chef calling the police. A 2005 interview reported Ramsey had retained 85% of his staff since 1993. Ramsey attributes his management style to the influence of previous mentors, notably chefs Marco Pierre White and Guy Savoy, father-in-law, Chris Hutchison, and Jock Wallace, his manager while a footballer at Rangers. Ramsey's ferocious temper has contributed to his media appeal in both the United Kingdom and the United States, where his programs are produced. MSN Careers featured an article about television's worst bosses, which listed Ramsey as the only non-fictional boss. They cited his frequent loss of his temper and his harsh critiques, notably when he picks on something other than one's cooking abilities, such as calling someone a chunky monkey. Although Ramsey often mocks the French, one of his most trusted maters d. Jean-Baptiste Requien Royal Hospital Road, is French and he also speaks fluent French from his time in Paris. In November 2007, Ramsey installed 29-year-old Claire Smith as head chef at his three Michelin-starred flagship restaurant on London's Royal Hospital Road. Smith is the second high-profile appointment of a female chef by Ramsey, after Angela Hartnett. Smith also went on to become the first female three Michelin starred chef before she moved on to start her own restaurant in 2017. Ramsey has been criticized for his frequent use of strong language on his programs, first by British celebrity cook Delia Smith, then, in relation to Ramsey's kitchen nightmares, by a member of the Federal Parliament of Australia. In his autobiography, Ramsey himself said he was unaware of the extent of his swearing until he watched an episode of Boiling Point. While he stated he did not have a problem with it, Mum was appalled. On 5 June 2009, Ramsey started trading national TV insults with Australia's Nine Network, a current affair journalist Tracy Grimshaw. The day after his interview, he was a guest feature at the Melbourne Food and Wine Festival. While doing his display, he allegedly insulted Grimshaw and made insinuations about her sexuality. Grimshaw responded the next day, calling Ramsey an arrogant, narcissist bully. Ramsey eventually apologized, stating that his behavior was a joke. TV Guide included him in their 2013 list of the 60 nastiest villains of all time. Despite being known for his ferocious temper, Ramsey has been well received as the host of MasterChef Junior. In contrast to his interaction with adults, Ramsey was shown to be more considerate and sensitive to the children featured on the show. Despite his competitiveness and fiery temper, he showed far more restraint and empathy towards children, amateur and special needs chefs notably Christine Ha on MasterChef, continuing to offer constructive criticism. His goal as a restaurateur and TV personality is to expose, find, inspire and nurture new talents. <laughs> Food views On the second series of The F Word, Ramsey showed a softened stance on vegetarianism after learning about intensive pig farming practices including castration and tail docking letting two young family piglets live in an intensive farm. 
On the program, Ramsey commented, "...it's enough to make anyone turn fucking vegetarian, for God's sake. And I've always sort of knocked vegetarians and vegans for missing out on the most amazing flavor you can get from meat. But you can see why so many people change instantly." Other chefs Ramsey has been highly critical of Food Network and Iron Chef America star Mario Batali. The New York Post reported in 2009 that Batali has banned Ramsey from his restaurants. This alleged feud goes back to when Batali was highly critical of Ramsey's cooking style for being dull and outdated. Batali has since stated that the alleged feud was created by a couple of journalists. Batali went on to state, I'd love to hang out with Ramsey. <inaudible> Eating and exercising habits Ramsey revealed that he exercises semi-competitively for general well-being, as he has seen overweight and unfit chefs collapse or become unable to move quickly around the kitchen. He often competes in Ironman, marathons, and triathlons. He also eats very little per meal, and prefers to graze throughout the day, partly due to the habit he built up as a judge, expeditor and chef and also because of his busy schedule. He also has a black belt in karate. Personal life Family Ramsey married Cayetana Elizabeth Hutchison, a Montessori-trained schoolteacher, in 1996. They live in Wandsworth Common, London. They have four children, Megan, Holly, Jack and Matilda. Megan ran the London Marathon in 2017 in memory of the miscarriage her mother suffered five months into her pregnancy in June 2016, a male fetus whom they had named Rocky. Until 2010, Ramsey's father-in-law, Chris Hutchison, was responsible for the business operations of Ramsey's restaurant empire. On 7 June 2017 Hutchison was jailed for six months for conspiring to hack a computer system relating to the Ramsey's business interests. He was accused with his sons of accessing company systems almost 2,000 times between 23 October 2010 and 31 March 2011. Topic. Charity work Ramsey has been involved in a series of charitable events and organizations. He fulfilled his aim of finishing 10 marathons in 10 years by running his 10th consecutive London Marathon on 26 April 2009, sponsoring the Scottish Spina Bifida Association. Ramsey has been honorary patron of the Scottish Spina Bifida Association since 2004, and in 2005 he launched the Gordon Ramsay. Buy a Brick appeal to help the organization raise funds to build a new family support center and head office in Glasgow. In 2006 he launched a new appeal to help the charity raise the funds required to continue to run the support center. What's your favorite F word? Gordon's is fundraising. In November 2007 Ramsey hosted a St. Andrew's Day Gala Dinner at Stirling Castle in aid of the association and has now made this fundraising gala dinner an annual event. During March 2005, Ramsey teamed up with Indian chef Madhur Jaffrey to help the VSO, an international development charity group, to support its Spice Up Your Life event. The charity hoped to raise £100,000 for VSO's work in HIV and AIDS in India. The Ramseys were the first couple to become ambassadors for the women's charity Women's Aid in 2005. The couple ran the Flora Families Marathon to support women's aid. In 2006, 2008, 2010, 2012 and 2014, Ramsey took part in the biennial charity event Soccer Aid to raise money for UNICEF. On 6 June 2010 he played for the rest of the world team alongside former professional footballers Zinedine Zidane and Luis Figo as well as Hollywood actors Woody Harrelson, Mike Myers and Michael Sheen. The match took place at Old Trafford in Manchester and was won by the rest of the world for the first time, the winning penalty scored by Harrelson in the shootout. Life-threatening experiences. 
In 2008, Ramsey was in Iceland's Westman Islands filming a puffin hunting segment when he lost his footing and fell during a descent off an 85 feet 26 meters cliff, landing in the icy water below. He said, I thought I was a goner. He reached the surface of the water by removing his heavy boots and waterproof clothing. His film crew, who rescued Ramsey by throwing him a rope, reported that he was submerged for at least 45 seconds. During the ordeal, he remembers how he felt. I was panicking and my lungs were filling with water. When I got to the top after getting my boots off, I was dazed and my head was totally massive. <laughs> Pre-prepared meal controversy On 17 April 2009, it was revealed that one of Ramsey's restaurants, Foxtrot Oscar in Chelsea, West London, used pre-prepared food that was heated up and sold with markups of up to 586%. It was also revealed that three of his gastropubs in London did the same thing. A spokeswoman for Gordon Ramsay explained. Gordon Ramsay chefs prepare components of dishes devised and produced to the highest Gordon Ramsay standards. These are supplied to those kitchens with limited cooking space such as Foxtrot Oscar and Gordon Ramsay's highly acclaimed pubs, including the Narrow. These are sealed and transported daily in refrigerated vans and all menu dishes are then cooked in the individual kitchens. This is only for the supply of Foxtrot Oscar and the three pubs and allows each establishment to control the consistency and the quality of the food served. Reflecting on the controversy in 2010, Ramsey was unapologetic, stating, When I was working at the Gavroche all those years ago, the duck terrine wasn't made there. It was made outside, then brought to the restaurant wrapped in plastic. This is standard practice. What on earth was the fuss about? <laughs> Other interests Ramsey is an avid football fan and supports Chelsea and Rangers. As a baseball fan, he follows teams from Los Angeles, both the Los Angeles Dodgers and Los Angeles Angels. However, he feels that the game of baseball is often too long, joking that this leads to fans spending most of the time eating or sleeping, which could lead to them being unhealthy. <laughs> Restaurants owned or operated by Ramsey United Kingdom <laughs> North America <laughs> Rest of Europe <laughs> Other international locations Topic. Filmography Boiling Point Five Part Documentary Channel 4, 1998 Beyond Boiling Point Six Part Documentary Channel 4, 2000 Ramsey, Trouble at the Top Documentary about him taking over the Connaught Hotel Restaurant, 2002 Love's Kitchen Feature Film, 2011 Smurfs, The Lost Village Feature Film, 2017 Baker Smurf Topic. Television appearances Topic. Bibliography Since 1996, Ramsey has written 25 books. Ramsey also contributes a food and drink column to the Times Saturday magazine. Gordon Ramsay's Passion for Flavor 1996, ISBN 978-1850298410 Gordon Ramsay's Passion for Seafood 1999, ISBN 978-1850299936 Gordon Ramsay A Chef for All Seasons 2000, ISBN 978-1580082341 
Gordon Ramsay's Just Desserts 2001, ISBN 978-1571457011 Gordon Ramsay's Secrets 2003, ISBN 978-1844000371 Gordon Ramsay's Kitchen Heaven 2004, ISBN 978-0141017976 Gordon Ramsay Makes It Easy 2005, ISBN 978-0764598784 Gordon Ramsay Easy All Year Round 2006, ISBN 978-1844002801 Gordon Ramsay's Sunday Lunch and Other Recipes from the F Word 2006, ISBN 978-1844002801 Humble Pie 2006, Autobiography, ISBN 978-0007270965, issued in U.S. as Roasting in Hell's Kitchen 2006, ISBN 978-0061191985 Gordon Ramsay's Fast Food Recipes from the F Word 2007, ISBN 978-1844004539 Playing with Fire 2007 Follow up to autobiography ISBN 0007259883 Recipes from a 3 Star Chef 2007 ISBN 9781844005000 Gordon Ramsay's 3 Star Chef 2008 ISBN 9781554700905 Gordon Ramsay's Fast Food 2008, ISBN 978-1554700646 Gordon Ramsay's Healthy Appetite 2008, ISBN 978-1402797880 Cooking for Friends, Food from My Table 2008, ISBN 978-0061435041 Gordon Ramsay's World Kitchen, Recipes from The F Word, 2009, ISBN 978-1554701995 Ramsay's Best Menus, 2010, ISBN 978-1844009152 Gordon Ramsay's Great Escape, 100 of My Favorite Indian Recipes, 2010, ISBN 978-0007267057 Gordon's Great Escape, 100 of My Favorites Southeast Asia Recipes 2011, ISBN 978-0007267040 Gordon Ramsay's Ultimate Cookery Course 2012, ISBN 978-1444756692 Gordon Ramsay's Home Cooking, Everything You Need to Know to Make Fabulous Food 2013, ISBN 978-1455552526 Gordon Ramsay and the Bread Street Kitchen Team, Delicious Recipes for Breakfast, Lunch and Dinner to Cook at Home 2016, ISBN 978-1473651432 Gordon Ramsay's Ultimate Fit Food, Mouth-Watering Recipes to Fuel You for Life 2018, ISBN 978-1473652279 Master Chef's Series Pasta Sauces 1996, ISBN 978-0297836315 Fish and Shellfish 1997, ISBN 978-0297822851 Cook Cardshot Dinners 2006, ISBN 978-1844003310 Cool Sweets 2006, ISBN 978-1844003327 Notes <laughs>